The COVID-19 pandemic has truly changed education nationwide, and while face-to-face -face learning has been in progress on several family islands, students in public schools are expected to return to classrooms next month here in New Providence. Director of Education Marcellus Taylor updated us on what students can expect once they return to the classrooms. And in terms of what will be in place for the students, of course, we have to um, ensure that we observe all of the rules around social distancing and sanitizing. So we'll certainly have all of the hand sanitizers and wash stations and so forth. We also would have to ensure that the numbers of people within the classrooms would be um, uh, permissible based on the rules. So, you know, we have three feet um, distancing of desk and so forth. Of course, as the, as the law is and as both of us are doing right now, we have to wear a mask and we have to do those things. Well, the director of education says while he's optimistic, he does see some challenges on the horizon. The thing that will be the, the, the new element that will be most challenging for us is how we actually operate the instructional program because because of the restrictions, not all of the students will come to school every day, all day. And so we're developing the rotation so that every student could get an adequate amount of time in a face-to-face -face instruction. But while they are not on the school campus, ensuring that they have sufficient work to, 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 to take them through those periods. So it'll be a kind of thing where you do some of your school work at school and then on the days when you're not in school you'll have sufficient work um, for you to do and then you bring that back to school when you come.